One of those storm systems where it's going to be more about the umbrella uh, than the shovel for sure. Temperature out there right now is 40 degrees in Detroit. You can see lots of mid to upper 30s to our west, and that's the rain coming from that direction. So we'll cool down a little bit, and that means the leading edge of this will start to change over and mix with. It'll go from just pure rain like it's doing right now to a mixture of rain and snow, maybe a little sleet thrown in there, especially as we get it into Detroit and farther to the north. So here's a look at future cast. It's coming in from the southwest. This is 11 o'clock still south of Detroit, taking over as we go along. Again, that leading edge is where some of that mixture will be. It really looks like anywhere from M59 and south, there'll be nothing on the roads. They'll just stay wet, okay? There won't be enough action going on. But you start getting north of I-69, especially into the thumb, there might be a little snow that actually has a chance to stick. You see how much later it is at nighttime there, and so it's a little bit colder. I don't think that's a big issue either, but in the metro, we're going to have rain and a mix, but even the mix won't impact the roads as we go along. Then we talked about this. This is 4 o'clock in the afternoon on Thursday. Late in the day through the evening hours, we could get some showers and thunder showers. Thunder's not out of the question around here, especially around Detroit and Ann Arbor to the south as we go along. And the rain pace there could be pretty hot and heavy for temporarily. And then, of course, swings through to the northeast like the rest of everything else does. Changing back to mostly snow showers scattered around here on Friday. Probably not a big deal for the snow there. So this is kind of interesting. The severe weather threat is this yellow box. Uh, it's very, very slight just across the border in Toledo with this green, but really the yellow box over here, Sandusky and south. But this kind of fizzled out area in here means maybe Detroit, Ann Arbor and south through Wayne, Washtenaw, Little Wayne County, we might actually get a little bit of thunder with that second batch late in the day in the evening. And with that second batch possibility, that's where the rains could get quite heavy. Detroit, a half an inch, almost double that. Monroe, uh, one of our better computers here. The point is, if you get some thunder, it's more likely south to north, and that's why the rain pace could really pick up. So generally, a third of an inch, maybe a little bit more of with that first batch that's coming through late this evening into tomorrow morning, and then it could be popping a bit uh, tomorrow as we go along, uh, especially south side. So 38 this evening, rain moves in late uh, as we come in from the southwest. Overnight tonight's 35. Again, that's warm enough to keep the roads just wet in Metro Detroit. It'll be that mixture changing to all rain. And then tomorrow, rain in the morning, a bit of a break, and then that second chance late in the day into the evening. We drop it by about 10 degrees or so. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday into the weekend, chances of snow. Friday, no big deal. Sunday, more interesting. Mid-30s, we'll look at that Sunday coming up in just a bit.